boss fight or where it's at, they allow a developer to really showcase their talent to its highest degree and provide some of the most memorable moments in gaming, and at the same time they're the ultimate test of gamer skill. There's a reason games like Fury and Shadow of the Colossus get rid of everything else. A good boss fight invigorates the senses by going absolutely crazy on all of them all at once. Sight, sound and lightning quick gamer reactions should all be pushed to their limits. You want to feel like you're actually about to die in a boss fight, not because you're in the game, but because you're going to have a heart attack from how fucking badass it all is. Boss fights, especially in the early game, can teach us such important things. Lady Butterfly taught me I better jump over sweep attacks. This piece of shit taught me I was fucking awful at Hyperlight Drifter. And Valis taught me I was fucking awful at being a nice human being. I think great boss fights really do push you to your limits. From Software are fucking amazing at this, as they are at everything else. In Sekiro especially, there's absolutely no way you are getting lucky in a boss fight. You either learn the attack patterns like the back of your hand, or you die miserably over and over. Not all boss fights have to be so unforgiving, but when they're a complete pushover it seems utterly pointless. Like they're built up to be the strongest enemies in whatever fantasy land I'm in, and when they go down in a couple of hits it totally breaks the fantasy. When I win, I want to feel I've earned it. Now we've covered the touchy feely gameplay aspects of boss fights, I want to talk about the sights, the sounds and the smells. I want to actually be in the arena with the boss I'm fighting, and I think good boss design really fucking nails this one. I want to be able to taste the metallic tang of blood in the air as I walk towards the corpse pile. Boss intro cutscenes when they're done right completely set you up for a good fight. Whether it's the beauty of childbirth, an angry neighbour coming to complain about the noise, Psycho Mantis reading your memory, or whatever the fuck this is, you know you're in for a whale of a time. I want my bosses to be giant visual spectacles. I want them to be an ape with a sword in its head, or a robot the size of a skyscraper, or a giant mass of flesh. I want the arena we're in to be completely on fire or covered with flower petals, and I want them to shoot lasers from their mouths and carry me into the sky, and attack me with their own blood which is on fire. I want the music to be completely overpowering, I want them to have badass orchestral scores that kick in so hard as I'm fighting them and swell at just the right time. I want the intensity to match the character and emotions of the boss I'm fighting. I want to walk into the kiln of the first flame and immediately burst into tears at the shattered husk of a god that greets me. Back when this script was split into categories, this was the final one, but I figured it would be better if I just- Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> The very best boss fights all have surprises, things that happen during a boss fight and absolutely blow your mind. The boss transforming into something fucking insane, the boss being one of your friends who's betrayed you this whole time, the boss being your mentor who for complicated and selfless reasons needs you to kill her, or being your mentor who for complicated and selfless reasons needs to kill you. Maybe you spend fucking hours dying over and over and you finally kill the boss and you actually get the text pop up that says it's dead and you've won and then it wiggles up into the sky and starts fighting you with the sword you used to behead it. Or maybe the boss uses your own moves against you like Ninetales using brush powers in Okomi or Owl doing Makiri counters in Sekiro. That powerful shock just does something crazy to my brain. I'm sure game developers know this because it happens all the time, yet I'm still surprised every single time like a child watching a magic trick over and over, and it makes the fights all the more memorable. I personally have two favourite boss fights, and they're both from software bosses. They both have everything on my checklist, but above all else, they have fucking perfect mid-fight surprise cutscenes. Firstly is of course Ludwig from Bloodborne. The arena, the music, the law, it's all fucking there. Then when that horrible tragic beast is halfway dead, he falls to the floor and remembers his sword, his guiding moonlight. He regains his consciousness as a human being and remembers himself, 
and faces you as the proud knight he once was. His theme changes suddenly and he pulls out that magic fucking sword and starts firing moonlight laser beams at you. Plus his voice acting is mind-blowing. My true mentor. My guiding moonlight. I think because he's DLC and I knew so much about his lore before I walked into his arena, when I saw his name pop up, it really drove home the experience for me. My personal number one moment in gaming. Secondly, but not lastly, is Genichiro, Way of Tomoe from Sekiro. When you fight this corrupted guardian of Ashina for the third time and get the death blow, he picks up his black mortal blade and then, well. <laughs> Holy fuck, I love this scene. I even got Vati's t-shirt depicting the exact moment. What follows is the single most intense test of perfection I've ever experienced. As a final boss, it is unmatched. I broke into tears as I put Ishin to rest after hundreds of failed attempts. Basically, what I'm trying to say here is that boss fights are fucking awesome and have provided me with some absolutely amazing times over the years. When they're done right, they can be badass and deeply emotional all at the same time in a way very few other parts of games can, and they frequently push me to my limits. Thank you, as always, to From Software for somehow making games that are absolutely perfect in every way, every time. Thank you to Ludwig for being cool and heartbreaking all at once. And thank you for watching. Cheers.